Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Card Wars. Danielle's here with me, providing Hello. support <laughs> and moral floops. Alright, <laughs> let's go in. I just like adding floop to sentences. So, we had a really nice, you know, couple battles last time, and uh, we took down Rainicorn so fast. We're on Lumpy Space Princess now. Hopefully, we'll fare okay. Just got a lot of HP. It's been a bit since we struggled, like, we lost a few of those early matches, but I think now that we got a couple of algebraic cards, Definitely pays to go back and, you know, grind out some gems. So yeah, if you get lucky. I know you can, sometimes you'll get cards that might not be that useful, like a hero card that you might not use, or, you know. Those are still cool. I feel like I would love to get, like, Lemon Grab or somebody. <laughs> Even though his power's not that good, like, he would be fun to use. Yeah. Oh, is her hat, like, a, her crown is, like, kind of a sand castle in itself. Come on, Sludger. You're gross, but I love ya. I like how his face is like really tiny and weird looking. <laughs> it's all like scrunched up. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like Donnie or something. I was gonna ask you, I was thinking, like, what are. Ooh, Beach Mum. It's a mummy, <laughs> not a mum. Like, it's not any. It might be somebody's mother. No, my sledger! <laughs> She's just rubbing it in. Um, I was gonna ask you though, what are some of your favorite Adventure Time characters? Because I was thinking about that. I was like, hmm. Uh, it's hard for me to pick favorites in anything. Yeah, I mean some I'm of the just like, oh, I like everything. some of the main ones are pretty like a lot of people like obviously like the main characters. But I'm trying to think yeah. of like obscure characters that um, are really an obscure character that I like. Corn Ronin. The snail. The until, snail. Until it betrayed everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty old episode. So hopefully that's not a spoiler for anyone. But I really liked how the snail was worked into the actual plot because normally it's just a character no one talks about. Why did she lay down it's so her? So cute. She just laid down her uh, heavenly gazer to just use that volcano on it. That was a really strange choice. Um. Oh man, she's doing a lot of damage. I gotta block that. I just realized how powerful that mummy is. Jeez. That mom. Yeah, he's doing nine damage each time. I thought I would just take her down with my Ronin, but he did do some good damage. Let's do that. Yeah, we're in a sticky wicket here. Let's try. How much is this? Three. Let's do it. Might as well. I should be boosting with my Sand Angel. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, minor characters that become like important later are kind of fun and yeah. and stuff like that. I like Abraka Daniel's name a lot. <laughs> He's kind not of not necessarily <laughs> him so much. He did he did cause a ruckus in the recent season, <laughs> but um, yeah, he's kind of a strange character. Um, what was this? Some of the I, Flambo is one of my favorite characters, and he almost never shows up. He's, he's cute. A, he's a cute little sassy little flame sprite guy. Um, what's the other one that I was just thinking of? Oh, the fox! There's that one fox! Oh, he's, That was in, yeah. the, in the gray bowls. He has, like, a funny... He's got a really, like, funny way of speaking. We always reference that thing with the, like, yeah. the bugs. <laughs> always had the... The, the ugliest the bugs. bugs. What are um, they doing? But, yeah. Selling each other property. <laughs> okay. Houses. But, yeah, the, uh, that one fox, because he was trying to eat the babies, and he's just a cool little minor character that is very strange. You can tell that that's one of those characters that and shows where like somebody will just improvise and go off off the script and yeah. you know ramble and then it's like they make a whole segment where they have to they animate stuff. I actually really like Gunter because I have a th like I like things that don't talk but can still sort of communicate. He's also like a cute cat penguin thing, which <laughs> yeah. definitely helps. It's funny. Ah. But um, he's one that like. He seems like he's like a minor character, but I'm always like, are they? They've done more episodes with him too that were like where he was going like... crazy. But the fact that Hunts and Abadir was like his you're, child, you're the most evil. Oh yeah, his child is that crazy cat thing. I forgot about that. Oh, we can make an ordinary ninja. But the fact that Hunts and Abadir was like you're the most evil creature. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me think that they're gonna, you know, do something more with him. I think I'm gonna switch Jake and Finn out. And then we're gonna take on LSP and hopefully we'll beat her. Three hearts. <laughs> it always cuts off because it loads too fast. Um, Jake is better, I think, right now with the corn stuff, but I, I do like trying to keep them even, like I mentioned. All right. Hopefully, tree trunks will come by and give us more pies. That one's been sitting there for a while. It's probably gross. That was probably one of the earliest minor characters that was yeah. one of my favorites. Was tree trunks. 
She's always hilarious. Is that the lady that voi- ooh, wait, Ninja. The lady that voices her is just like an old family friend of Pendleton Ward. Yeah, Ward's the commentary and... with her, like, it basically was that character just yeah, being like- Yeah, it's weird like... when, like, the character that they play <laughs> is the same person, basically. Um, this is risky, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, but I think I might just try to do this again. <laughs> this is crazy. This is my suicidal corn ronin strategy, where I use all my magic and... Ugh, nope. But now she's down to 7 HP. <laughs> she's gonna do a ton of damage, though. Freezy J! What? What? Look at him, he's so sassy. Aww. Put his hands on his hips. <laughs> what about so many landscapes? Oh, uh, no. Oh, okay. uh, no. Yeah, he's okay, but yeah, look at all this damage you're gonna take. Seven, five, seven. It's not too much. Not as much as she took from my corn running. Alright. Well, need that future scholar. Let's see. Look, I could just fill up these. As long as I have these lanes filled, we'll be okay, and hopefully I can uh, do a quick samurai strike on <sighs> that, uh, the, my corn running. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on, little guy. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Come on! It reminds me of the... Ooh! Oh, I can do it again! Can't I? Can't I? There we go. <laughs> That's a really cheap floop, and look how it like adds so much attack. Corn Ronin is so good. I do wanna... Yeah, I don't remember who recommended him, but I know someone was like, if you get the Corn Ronin, you're just set. And I didn't I didn't even know back then, but now I do. Church of Corn Ronin. <laughs> oh, alright. I think we got her. She's gonna go down pretty... Oh, oh dang. She's blocking him. Uh oh, damage done to the. Ooh, I didn't read that fast enough, but it blocked something on me. Yeah, I didn't read it either. Oh, said something about damage done. Oh, oh, oh no! That was not good. The damage that it did to my creature hit me directly. Did you see that? That was crazy. What? Oh no! This is. Uh, I really need to take that Wodic Time Walker out quickly. Cause yeah, I'm down to four HP. Oh, this is closer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> about the floop? Oh, uh, yeah, we can do this. Okay. I'm just gonna floop. There we go. Now we'll do enough, and I think that's all we really need to do. I can do this just to add a bit more buff mm -hmm. to my, my guy here. I think we're good. Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty quick episode, but we took down LSP. Let's see who we are going up against next. Blam, and blam, you're out of here. Get those lumps off this picnic table. <laughs> okay. I'm still really impressed with the way they've done a lot of the backgrounds. Like, the details are very nice. Yeah, there was something, like, dancing around back there. There was squirrels and birds. There was something <laughs> dancing? I'll have to look for that next time. Like the little worm thing, uh, I think. Oh, the little worm guy. For a mobile game especially, it's like, they did put a lot of work into the little creatures and the details and everything. All right. Lumpy Space Princess is down. I'm going to go rework my deck before we take on the next opponent, but uh, we'll see a who it is. Butt. Great butt. There we go. That's an upgrade to the strawberry butt, I guess. Next time, we're going to take on Ash. Weren't expecting <laughs> that, were you? <laughs> it's kind of an... No. He's been in a few episodes, but he's not that major of a character. That's Marceline's old boyfriend. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and next time, we'll take on Ash. See you then. Goodbye.